Here's Johnny. So, welcome to the Deerfield Finance Committee meeting of April 2nd, 2019. Uh, do you want to open your meeting? Sure. And I'd like to open the select board, Deerfield Select Board meeting on April 2nd. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Good uh, If you don't mind, can we just do the minutes? Sure. You've got a copy of the minutes. Any questions? Just a quick comment. I just saw a typo huh? down at the bottom of page one. Yeah. Where it uh, need professional to evaluate oh, as yeah. far as the track. Yeah. That's the only thing that I saw. Got it. So I'll move to accept the minutes of March 26th. Second. We've got a motion to accept the minutes. Uh, it's been seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. One abstention. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, one abstention. So that's uh, 601, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so what we what we had hoped, or what I guess I had hoped to accomplish tonight was an opportunity to go over the, the budget a little bit. Uh, a couple of things that we still have left to do, but you know, if we we don't get to those right now, I, I think we're in a pretty good shape. Did want to talk about uh, some of the some of the problems that we've got with uh, revenues and expenses, but I also wanted to talk about. Don't have that. Okay, we What's that? Debt exclusions is what I want to talk about. Oh. Got a list of. Okay, you've got some there. Oh, yeah. That's like good for the discussion. Oh. I don't have a list of debt exclusions. No. This is just well. I mean, it is pretty. We've much got close. yeah. We, Oxford property payoff. That was the first one that's on the list. Okay. And uh, I'm going to let Brenda cover that as to the revenues. Uh, I think expenditures for it. Um, so we have uh, three payments left for the Oxford loan, um, but Skip had Barb. Um, find out what the payoff would be if we paid it before the end of this fiscal year and paid off all of it. Um, these loans are anywhere from 4.2 to 4.4 percent. Um, you know, the, the current uh, school roof loan, we were able to get at 2.4 percent. So this is kind of high. And, and it's also not an excluded debt. So it's a debt that we could pay off early. So um, if we paid off that, uh, all three of those payments early, it would be a total of 299,272. Um, we have $105,100 that we collected by selling four parcels a few years ago. And that money is sitting in a receipts reserve for appropriation fund that can be used to apply to this kind of a debt. So if you take that money in, you take out the Oxford debt that we would have been paying in fiscal year 2020, uh, the net difference to our budget is about 63000 that we would have to take out of free cash. It I seemed like it was worth doing that. Uh, we'll save, it's not a ton of money, but we'll save the interest payments for the next two and a half years, basically. I, I have to say that I, I support that. I, it makes sense. And I think we have the resources to do that, so... Yes, it, 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 I think it's a, a definite thing we should do because we're definitely not getting 4% on our money. So no. we might as well just Absolutely. pay it off and use yeah. it, get rid of it. So that makes sense. It, it would require, Diana, a special article for that so that we could get that done and over with before the end of this fiscal year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that, would that so, be a special town meeting before our town meeting, you mean? I, I would, we'll annual? just incorporate it into, into the, the annual, annual, but we'll, okay. we'll do it before the end of the fiscal year. It'll be okay to do that. Okay. I, I, 
I know we had, if, we, if we're coming up short, I know we had the Capital Improvement Committee had um, recommended 250000 go into stabilization, but I feel like that's money that's just sitting there. Why would we yeah. pay interest I mean, on I money? I talked with Jeff, and I think yeah. Jeff and I both agreed that it made more sense made to sense, use, right. yeah. even if we couldn't if, take the 250000 Right. If, if we did less. both, yeah. that would leave us with 143000 to carry over in free cash. So a little lower, but not, not that bad. Sounds good. Maybe we could split the difference. Right. You could put some into capital stabilization if you wanted to, and I think we'd still be okay. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about the final numbers. But yes. It, yeah. it makes, why would we have money sitting there doing nothing when mm -hmm. we're paying interest on money? It's just, yeah, no, it, just, it just makes sense all yeah. around. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I just think it's better overall for the town of Deerfield. Yep. Makes sense. Do you need a specific vote on that from the select board, or is that something you just put together in an article? Oh, uh, Diana, do you need a special vote for that? Do you need a vote from the select one, or do you, would you just uh, Yeah, vote? well, I would, would take a vote to go ahead and pay off the option bonus for the house. I, I make a motion that we um, pay off the Oxford loan and um, ask Diana to produce an article for the town, annual town meeting. Second. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. Okay. Thank you. This is, the next one is kind of a pet peeve of mine. I'm not sure that everybody else is as excited about it as I am, but it's just the idea that we have, we have a loan. It's not a large amount, uh, but we're going to be paying for it for the next 15 years at $20,000, so a little bit a year. So there's $300,000. Uh, that we could put through as a debt exclusion, and we haven't. Talk about Franklin, Franklin Talk about Capital. Franklin County Franklin Technical County Schools Capital. Capital Project. So that's one that and we talked about it last week, the Finance Committee, and I think everyone who was here was in general agreement that it made some sense to do that. Uh, that was so, work that had been done, right? They changed some doors and some windows and roof and that kind of thing, right? They, they re-roofed it. They did some stuff inside doors and windows and some overhead doors and then they did parking it was a total of i'm not sure um it was over a million dollars yeah maybe two or three million but yeah. they got a substantial chunk from that's it. right yep so when they hadn't done anything for well, it yeah. since so it was I built i thought we were going to um do a put forward a debt exclusion for frontier and the wastewater treatment and we were just going to incorporate this well that's that's the next one. So I just threw it out there. Yeah. You want to talk about Frontier? I think we should. Uh, I wish I knew what to say about Frontier. My, I had a conversation a week and a half ago with the superintendent, and I, I think I'm quoting him correctly when I say that he did not really anticipate doing a whole lot of work this summer uh, because it will be late in the year, late in May, before all of the votes are tallied to know whether the project's going to go forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's in so, tr transition with his, you know, yeah. facilities director, all of that over this year as well. Yes. So he's got two two positions that I think he'd like to fill. I think those are probably, again, I'm, I'm speaking mm -hmm. a little out of turn here, but, but the business school business manager position mm -hmm. and the facilities manager position. And I think those he wants to fill as quickly as possible and they're more of a priority than, than getting this I think underway. The work basically can't be done during the school year with the students there. So I think it's safe to say that a lot of this work won't take place until a year from now which means they're not going to borrow money right. and we aren't likely to see until next year at the earliest. And so any debt pay repayments would not likely occur until 21, 2021. Um, they'll need money for the design of the track. Mm -hmm. That could be $60,000. Question yeah. is where do they get it? If they're not going to debt, if we 
and if they're not going to use, take on a short-term debt. Well, if they did borrow the money, they're going to borrow in increments. Yeah, if they borrowed it next year. Yeah. I'm assuming that none of that will then be paid off until the year after, which is 20. Right. So That's that was correct. the. They would borrow it in 20 and pay in 21. Yep. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe there's some payments that we made and maybe, I guess, you know, there is, there is some maintenance. Uh, they do have a maintenance budget as part of their regular operating mm -hmm. budget. And yep. they've got, I don't remember what the figure is, 200 or $250,000 in uh, EMD. EMD. Same right. with free cash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so they should not that they're destitute. Right. Okay. I don't think they'll be looking. <clears throat> so that's that's my understanding. I don't. Know. So I, I, anybody got any accurate an to updated? me? Updated. We we hope to interview the business manager on Thursday night. I think they hope to vote. You know this capital project. I think Thursday night as well. Yes. Um, so until that happens, I don't. See so maybe that. next week we'll have a little better understanding. Yeah. And we're asking the town council to confirm the process. So we right. have an opinion that I will give to the board to make an anticipation of Thursday. Okay. Uh, wastewater treatment plant to clarify or repairs. What's the? And again, that's another one that you know I think we need to look at with using that exclusion on. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, until we know more about where that is, uh, what's the status of that? The last time I saw anything, what I saw looked like it was being pushed off. It won't be completed until a year from now, basically. Right, right. I think, I think right, because it kind of went slow at it in the beginning here, just trying to get everything figured out. I don't think it'll... We hope to ask until you know February, April, something mm -hmm. like that, March or April for completion. Um, and a, you know, we don't have a contract to design yet, so the only concern that I had is that construction is tough. It the is. months of January, February, it is if not March. Yep. Uh, and yeah, this maybe. is all outdoors, it's not not right. That's why we're yeah, I think that's why I was hoping to push it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Well there you know, Last week at our meeting, um, we received a schedule uh, from Mr. Prickett about it. Um, there's an assumption that he's going to do all this work. Um, even if he was a successful bidder, which I think it should go out to bid, I think the timeline is pretty outrageous. Um, he's looking at uh, basically three months for design and another two months for bidding. Uh, it's, I, I think that's a lot. And given what we just went through, we were supposed to get all these plans here at the end of the year, mm -hmm. and we got it basically the last week of March. Didn't give us much time to review it. and put us in a very difficult position because now we're, we're going to have to make up a story to sell to voters at our town meeting in three weeks as to uh, what we're going to do. And I don't think that's an appropriate way of doing it. I think it just puts the whole process backwards. And uh, one of the reasons that the majority of the committee um, decided to go with Mr. Prickett was that he was a small firm and able to cater to us and, and do good by us. And anything but that has happened. Well, I, I would disagree with that because I think, I think that he, yeah, I mean, we, we put on him the emergency clarifier right in the middle of expecting that to be done. So, I mean, while he's doing the, and the, and the um, so we had the assessment, that and the USDA uh, application we, we put on him right in the middle of that. So we can't act like we were just asking for an assessment and he was sitting around doing nothing for, for two months. Um, he had those two other projects that we dumped in his lap right in the middle of, of that whole large process. Well, if you, if you look, if you, read his schedule, mm -hmm. we should have received this book before the end of the year. The clarifier and the issue came up after the fact. The mm -hmm. USDA came up after the fact. It was only because of his lack of attention and mm -hmm. his slow going is why he got this late. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, how many times did I ask you to push yeah. him and what did he kept telling me? Well, next week, next week. That, yeah. I heard that, you know, a month and a half. Yep. 
And we did get this, I think, two weeks ago. And we still, the, the people that are on the suicide committee, don't have access to his drop box, I guess mm -hmm. they call it. You know, so, I, I mean, how can, how can we realistically review this? And the few people that have looked at this, and besides myself, uh, I don't know if you've read it, no. but I learned nothing from it. Um, it. It has 58 pages of saying that we have an old plant, there's some cracked cement. Um, there was one thing that he went into detail about the stairs inside the building are in such poor design and condition that it actually caused several of our employees to have knee replacement surgery. And I checked into that, and there's been no workman's comp claim, and I can't find of the three employees who has an artificial knee. You know, and I just... In the weeds here. What's that? I said we're getting deep in the weeds Well, here. we are, but the, yeah, it all goes to, mm -hmm. to, you know, what are we going to do with the clarifier, you know? And I would, I'm going to strongly propose tomorrow night that, you know, we get an, an RFQ out as soon as possible to get some design work and, and tell the people right up front, you know, we want to have a design in a couple of months so we can go out to bid and get this thing going. Because it, any contract that is going to be doing any type of work in the wintertime is, is going to be more expensive. So if we could get this thing rolling, you know, by early August, we'd have a good shot of getting the majority of the stuff done. So, you know, I think we could go through that money that we appropriated. <clears throat> when, when was the uh, agreement with the uh, EPA or DP, DP, which one? That was only extended until like February, March to begin with. So that it, was, it hasn't been, fi be it hasn't been finalized way. by DEP yet. Okay, but, the, so, but this is almost a conclusion that it's going to have to be done and completed in by FY 2020. 19. Yeah. yeah, 2020. Right. This, By the, this, well, no, uh, I no. think, well, yes. no, it goes through to, he was asking no. for 19, oh, 2020, yes, right. correct. This yep. fiscal budget that we're talking correct. about right now. Yep. Yes. So that's going to have to be incorporated in this, not next year. Right. You know, next calendar year, but this fiscal year yes. that we're talking about. Well, we've already, we've already voted. We, we right, voted right. for a million dollars for the right, yes. right. for a million yeah. dollars in debt. So if you take out the debt in even July or August, you're not going to be paying anything on it until fiscal 21. Correct. So, and presumably that we're going to need the money next year. We've got the authorization to borrow, so that's going to be no problem. I don't know whether there's any repayments, it doesn't look like there's probably any repayments in 2020. So the debt would be, so we've got some time to talk about how we handle that debt. Mm -hmm. We should know, um, my understanding is we should know by, hopefully by town meeting time, whether we're gonna get the USDA grant or not. And that will make a huge difference as to really what we're doing and how we're doing it. Will that give us a dollar amount? We're, um, well, at least an indication of what the dollar amount is. We, um, we, we, need, we need to be better advocates or increase the, our advocacy, I guess, would be a better way to say it. Um, so we got a plan on, the slick board's got to do something on this. We, we need to make some visits to the um, USDA district office in Amherst, mm -hmm. talk to the director, and then you know may have to visit Washington to try and get some money that way. I don't I don't know how else you follow that lead, but the state doesn't have much money in that program, and you know we'd love yeah, a good I'm chunk. I'm making an assumption that this is at least going to be brought up at town meeting. Is that the yes. intent? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. We have no choice. We have to do something. And we but, have to let. I think the voters know. I think worst case scenario up front, what right. they're looking at for sewer rates, what people were asking, what they're looking at for mm -hmm. tax impact, what the overall project's looking like. You know, if we wanted to do phase one and three at the same, you know, at the same time, you know, by the time you factor in inflation, uh, any resiliency we have to do along the river, you know, you might be looking at 19, 19 million bucks. We're um, having an MVP meeting on Friday. so. We'll look to put some, you know, out. 
Right now, there's only 20 communities that are certified. We were the first in the state. We've gotten funding each time. There's a new round we put in for the Mill Village culvert, 272,000 for April 19th round. There's a new round coming out in July. So we could put the river stuff, resiliency stuff of the sewer plant out there. And I, I think we could get funded. I don't know how much we get funded because we I don't know what the project amount is, but say it's, I mean, anytime you get near the river, it's about 500,000 per 1,000 feet. So if they're asking, you know, if we're gonna do 2,500 feet, well, you know, it's a little over a million bucks. Um, could you tell us what phase one and phase three are? Mm -hmm. And is there any embankment work in any of the full five phases? I, I talked to Dave today and he, he brought up the resiliency. So I would assume that would be embankment work. I would the imagine, right? Clarifier? The, for the clarifier? For the second, not the, the one we're doing now, but the, the second one. Um, I'm not sure exactly where that's placed, but I, I, I saw he's it. talking about uh, resiliency for the plant. I don't think he's, I don't know if it's the right. actual I don't, secondary. Well, I think <clears throat> from my understanding, looking at the plants or an idea, the um, second clarifier, the new one, if you would, will be located west of where the ex existing one was. And I think the resiliency that they're speaking of or he's speaking of, it has nothing to do with the construction. Right. It's just reinforcing the banking in case the waters come up and you know tend to threaten the uh, the plant itself. But or the plant threatens the river, right? <laughs> one either one. Uh, but it, 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 this, and I don't know. If, and I think he added that because he wasn't sure whether that was going to be forced upon us or not. So we just he yeah. talked about that. I don't know. If, we would be forced to do that or not? Or, I mean, it'd be smart to do it, but if we had the money, It just I don't seems like Old well, Deerfield has potential, more of a potential problem than South Deerfield currently. Yes. The banks are yep. eroding on the east side severely. Yes. And it's already been flooded once. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what phase that's in. Is that in phase two? Well, we had talked about yeah, originally it was going to do right. Phase one was the initial stuff, immediate stuff at Deerfield plant. South Deerfield. Uh, say South Deerfield plant. And phase two was going to be the old Deerfield plant. Then Which was phase, going to be, phase two was going to be the sewer pipes in, in Deerfield. Uh, That's where it initially was. Uh, phase one, phase two. Phase three was going to be old Deerfield. Phase no, four. no phase, it went back and forth. Yeah, it did. It phase, it well, the way I understand it, I could be wrong, but I thought phase one was immediate needs at South Deerfield plant. Phase two was going to be immediate needs at Old Deerfield plant. Three was coming back to finish up South Deerfield plant. Phase four was finishing up that. And all mixed in between was pipes and stuff along the way. But so it changed. I think it has. And, and, and I still am so, what so was, up in the air about doing Old Deerfield plant. So what was phase three then? You're talking was, about. Was, was South Deerfield. Was South Deerfield to do one, all of what we need at South Deerfield South plant, Deerfield, not worry about all old the Deerfield. pipes, all these wastewater treatment plant. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's my. Because um, it's like $3 million just in piping in, in Deerfield, South Deerfield. Yeah, I think the. Uh, I mean, Dave could probably answer this a little bit more. But, but I, I guess was, I don't know what the project dollar amount you guys are talking about. Well, that's what the dollar amount I'm talking about is 19 million. It okay. was adjusted for that's including resiliency, that's including phase, anything to do with the South Deerfield plant. I've got to get clarification whether that's pipe as well, pipes as well, downtown South Deerfield. If it's I'll, right. I'll ask that. Um, and then, um, and that included um, 2000, you know, I think current numbers, but, but inflated at 4% out to halfway through construction. It's inflated 4% every year. Every year to middle of construction, I believe that was that number. The 19 million is for the phase nine, one yes. and three. One and three combined. Right. And <clears throat> at the meeting last week, uh, it was 18. we had asked him why that did include the underground piping. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he Thank did you. say that that was incorporated in those numbers. Okay. So Thank you. Okay. Yep. Great. Okay, so that's better clarification than I knew. Yeah. So thank uh, you. He did say that because I asked that. Okay. Because he had it in the, in the booklet. It's a separate item. Yeah. And um, I, I did ask him if that was incorporated in the 
phase one and it, three, and he said yes, it was. Yeah, and he mentioned today that you know they're going to say, look, I told you 18 last week. Why is it 19 now? And he said that he included that resiliency of about 800,000, and then inflated, but he wasn't sure um, if we were going to need to do that or not. So he was just hedging his bets on that. But. So just so that we could get some idea of what this looked like. Right. Uh, we can talk about 19 million, but until you actually look at it uh, and see. So you've got three, three amortization schedules all tied together, uh, stable together. The first one, they're both the same amount, 19 million, long term 20 years. Uh, the first one assumes a 2% interest rate on a loan. The second one is a 3%, and the last one is a 4%. And it does give you an idea, and these will change clearly, uh, but at least you get some idea of what we're looking at for payments. And uh, it made the assumption that town shares 25%, sewer users share 75%. Uh, the towns, uh, even with a 4%, uh, the town share of $425,000, uh, that's give or take about 60, 65 cents on the tax rate, just so you can see what it is. Uh, the $332,000 one, the 2%, uh, uh, you're looking at 40, 45 cents on the tax rate. And the sewer, and, and the sewer users portion, on top of their average, right. mm -hmm. on top of their average bill, right. is approximately another fifteen hundred dollars a year. Yeah. Mm, well, yes, it that's would be. what it is. You got eight hundred eighty users paying the million too. We get nine hundred users. As well as this thing rolls around. As well as this is only. As well as this is only half of the project. Right. This. That's right. That's the other <coughs> issue. It does mm -hmm. not take into account for oh, either dear. the town or the sewer users the, the cost of the old Deerfield plant. Uh, it also doesn't take into account any uh, grant money. Correct. Basically, what I wanted to look at was the worst case scenario. <laughs> and so, really, I think the two scenarios that will be presented, um, I think we have a meeting coming up on the um, 17th. The 17th, the workshop. And I think the two numbers that will be presented, and if I can get those any sooner, I'll just get them out to you guys, will be uh, one scenario will be an SRF loan. Um, which is no grant, but a loan at 2%. Um, and typically, I guess with that program, like last year, they forgave 10% of the principal or 9.9% of the principal. So, and how that works is you, you have a bigger bill up front, and then as you get to the end of the loan, they like forgive the last several, I don't know, however many payments that is. Is that so the 9% that they forgive? Yes, yeah, so they forgive that at the end of the, of the loan. The other option was the USDA loan. I think it was going to be um, at two and a half or two and a quarter percent for 40 years with a 25% grant, just kind of a scenario if we got 25% grant. So what that affects the sewer users and you know what, what the town owes, that, those are the kind of funding f formulas or scenarios that he was going to bring forward. And I may even have those you know, tomorrow night or um, Thursday or something. So as soon as I have them, I'll send them out to you. And if, we don't have a 0% here, but if you <laughs> want to take a 0% interest rate, the principal payment would stay the same, mm -hmm. $950,000 a year, and there would be no interest. Right. right. And, and that, so, that's a possibility with SRF, if the stars yeah. align, but he, you know, we don't, just don't want to yeah, no, talk no, about that yeah. until that falls in our lap. So you can figure out what the town share and the sewer user share would be. But it's expensive. And I yes. don't, uh, I, I did ask uh, this afternoon, uh, Barbara was out, so I asked Sarah how much we collected last year under the old uh, sewer rates. And uh, let's see if I can remember this correctly. Seven hundred and eighty-six thousand dollars. Yeah, I was going to say just about eight hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, maybe maybe even just a little bit more. But uh, and then with the new rates, 
but then you think you were talking about like a million with the new rates? Correct. Mm -hmm. A million, maybe about three hundred thousand more than, than one. So it's at least it's some money that three hundred thousand, right, would clearly be used to pay the debt. How much more would you need? Well. If the sewer user's share is a million dollars, then you need seven hundred thousand on top of that. Well, if the sewer users is almost thirteen, so you need a million dollars. Well, it depends on what we're oh. talking two, three, four percent. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 But you're right. So anywhere from six hundred from seven hundred thousand to a million mm -hmm. annually. So nine hundred and I did use nine hundred uses because we've got seventy 70 more users coming online. <coughs> but still, you're you right. You can see a doubling so, of the rate. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's enormous. I, I think, for me, I think what's very prudent for both of these boards to address is that the majority of you people were on the sewer study committee, and, and we looked for a, a road map, and um, w what we got was directions, you know, from here to there. And, and we weren't offered any alternative choices and things and I believe that there are other ways of doing what we need to be done for a lot less money um, and I, I think that we need to take some time and I'm not suggesting we put this thing off for a year trust me but we need to take some time and really put our heads together and come up with what direction do we want to go in fixing the plant is what we need to get done mm -hmm. but what do we do to it and, and the, the components are very expensive. And I can only, to, I'm gonna throw this out there. I mean, we, we received an estimate, a ballpark estimate of nearly $700,000 to fix the Cap, uh, Captain Lathrop pump station. In reality, the town spent about $60,000 to do it. Why the huge discrepancy? You know, there's, there's engineering, there's design, there's contract, there's all these things, but I, I'm just, I think we're doing the taxpayers and the citizens of this community a real disservice by just pushing through this thing. You know, we need to see what it is that we, we're going to do or how we're going to do this. Uh, we know that we need to fix it, and we know the different broken parts, but we haven't been given a clear choice as to what to do other than spend a lot of money. And I mean, you can solve any well, problem with enough money. To talk about the, the pump station, it, you know, I think that was because it was a completely, it, you can't say they're apples to apples. You're right, we fixed it for now on what we used. You know, their well, recommendation was to do something completely different. So of course it was way more money. Well, that's um, but you're right, and I, th I agree with you, Kip. I think we, sh we would do a disservice to the, community and the ratepayers and, and taxpayers if we didn't look at that stuff. I, I don't uh, plan to just straightforward this is the only thing we're going to do. My thought was ask, go to the people, say, look, it's going to be 19 million, we believe to do this, but we may be able to bring it down from that. And what we would like is, um, is the approval to go forward um, with this plan and, and throughout this next design phase look at those choices can we do the you know an auger monster instead of a bar screen or what what are those choices as we dig through that and and have those options put forward through design to maybe save some money i you know of course i don't want to i don't want to nickel and dime it so we wind up in a no, world of hurt in, in 10 years or 15 years i want it to be a, a 30 50 year plant but you know, but I'm sure there's areas we can save, and I think we all need to put our heads together to do that. I, I totally agree with that. Well, and just just so you know, I, I I read his I just read it yesterday in his report. As far as, with the exception of the concrete structure, we have I I believe better stuff now because all the electronic components, all of the everything got replaced, and we did run into a, I think it was an, an eight thousand dollar, if you will, over. Over because of the DEP required a different type of alarming system, we weren't allowed to just use the flashing red light. We had to put in some call a system. communication system that would actually call somebody and let us know of a failure there. But uh, well, I know we're so, we were. I got yeah. photos. We were just down there with everything open and yep. tons of fat and grease in there and all kinds of a mess. Well, so 
you know, I don't know whether their plan would have fixed that or not. Maybe not. Maybe well, it's just people's but use. Just so you know, that they're right. There was a lot of stuff in there, but these new pumps handled it all. They did. And they, yeah. they, I, we, I think we, we have a right asked choice. Kevin uh, yesterday about this. He has not, since those new pumps have been in, he hasn't had one, you know, call down there where they've had a repair, you know, or any plugage and stuff like that. We still have the issue of what's going down there, mm -hmm. but, you know, the work that we put into, you know, preparing these pumps, it's, it's proving to work well. Yep. Okay. I agree with that. Skip, you, you yeah. said um, that the enterprise fund collected about, say, 900000 And between salaries and sewer expenses, about six. What was the... I thought it was close at 800,000. Yeah. That's what we're looking so, at. So for year. this fiscal year, for fiscal 20, we're, we're um, at about 850,000 with salaries and expenses. That's what I thought. Yeah. But th that that then, also included the so $60,000 repair that happened late as well. Correct. I have no well, idea. I, no, I believe that did. So I okay. it might have skewed that a little bit. We're collecting yeah. over a million dollars. Yes. Uh, well, that's, that's what, what. With what, a new rate. Uh, that's yes. what uh, we determined with Sarah today. With the new rate or the current rate? I, I don't the, know. Was the, that with the, with new? The new rate? With the new rate. The eleven dollars, eleven seventy-five. Is that the rate? So the rate that we've yeah. been charging for this whole fiscal this, year so yeah. far, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, so a million with it was over a million, and, and I wish I'd. But well, it, was, it, was, it was just quick. I was just. It, it was real quick, and we didn't have the abatements at hand to be able sure. to know what the abatements were because I thought she'd said that the fall uh, yeah, there was, was like six hundred and eleven thousand, but there were abatements off of that, and then the spring one last spring was like five hundred thousand or five hundred and six thousand or something like that. Mm -hmm. But there really isn't a lot of extra money in that. In Not a lot. No, I, there's. Be lucky if there was three. Once, once we have retained earnings certified, there might be a million, a million two. Let's say I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing the number yep. out there, just so don't quote me. But, you know, so you'll have that, and then each year you might be building a couple hundred thousand at that rate or, or less, because your your expenses are going to continue to rise. Your expenses in the first year would eat that entire. Uh, uh, although, although, uh, from my discussions with Kevin. A lot of the expenses that we're seeing in there for this fiscal year is that clarifier, which you won't have once you th once it's fixed. So, um, how that will affect the budget next year, I don't know. A lot of this, a lot of the new improvements, uh, once they are done, I mean, especially if we opt to go with that um, aeration, uh, the, the, I think they call it a, a bubble aeration. I mean, we. We'll, how big are those motors down there, John? I don't remember. Are they five horsepower motors on those aerators now? Oh, could be a lot bigger than that. Oh, they're, they're big, you know, and we're basically going to replace replace those with a one horsepower one to run a compressor for that. So, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things that uh, should actually lower the uh, cost. So I did not expect that we would. Get a solution, but I think get it out on the table and get some idea of what we're looking at. Uh, the uh, and then by the same token, repairing the existing clarifier, the million dollars that we voted. What what was what were we expecting to need for resources and when? Um, I. I, I believe that the million dollars should cover that, and and when it was totally driven by when we actually get started to do this. I mean, whoever does the designing, I'm sure what's going to want some money, uh, but I would anticipate the, the bulk of the money wouldn't be needed until probably August or September. Now, maybe I'm being hopeful, but I really figure that you know it should be able to be designed and, and contracted out in three or four months. So we presumably would bond note, whatever it is, mm -hmm. would be next spring uh, for the actual, when we have all of the figures. What it costs? Yeah. yeah. And then whatever borrowing we have to do would actually take place next spring. Between now and then, it's just temporary. 
blending. Okay. So again, we're not looking at any payments until 2021. Till 2021. Well, the engineering, what we, we, were, we had this conversation recently about Lo loan payments. Oh, loan payments, sorry. Right. Yep. Yeah. No, I mean, you have to borrow the money. Yeah, yep. yep. But once it's been completed, then we into that phase. Gotcha. Of, you know. Gotcha. Yep. I think we determined there might be a very small amount that might be due between now and the end of the fiscal year, but we figured we could absorb that into the current budget. Well, the, the cash, free cash would be certified in the September anyway. For yeah. the enterprise fund. Yeah. Yeah. Retained earnings. Yeah, the retained earnings. And you've got the authority to borrow now. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's. But again, we don't. You know, we don't really have a plan at the moment because we want, you know, mm -hmm. depends how, you know, what our loan interest rates will be, what we're going to get for grants. If no, I was talking about the, the clarifier. Just the clarifier. Yeah. Yeah. Just the clarifier. Yeah. Well, we're we hoping to get the clarifier that. covered by the grant, too. Yeah. Yes, we hope this would that again. Yeah. Yeah. Although, you know, the SRF path, they don't cover it, engineering. Whereas USDA, they do. So. Yeah, SRF is very competitive. Mm -hmm. Very competitive. Yep. And you might be on a two or three year waiting list. Yep. They're not easy pass. Whatever. No, I'm just saying. No, no. SRF is yep. everybody in the state, mostly yep. water improvements yep. and sewer improvements. But everybody in the state's after that money. Anyone have any other questions? <coughs> Did we cover everything that I'd be talking about earlier? Yep. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, you know, unless you wanted to go through some of these budget items, that's, <coughs> uh, you've, you've covered everything on oh, your, there were, on your Yeah, budget. there were a couple of budget items that, at the end. That <coughs> I don't know whether you folks had, Are we agreed in the OPEP funding? Thirty-eight thousand. No, that was voted affirmatively. I mean, it, I meant the oh, yeah. select board. Yeah. I don't know if we oh. did approve it or not. Uh, I, I wasn't here for those last meetings, but that was our plan with whatever the four percent. You did. Fifty. The finance committee did. plan was to follow whatever policy we had going. Did you want to discuss capital stabilization and what you yes. want to do with that? Mm -hmm. uh, or do you want to wait with that? I, yeah, if you guys want to show in your two cents worth on capital stabilization. Uh, I always love to put some away if we can. I mean, I know it won't be the 250 this year, but if we're going to go the route of, of paying off yeah. You know, Oxford, which I, I completely agree with. Yeah, if, if I think I mentioned earlier, if we paid off Oxford and and we did 250 in stabilization, that would leave us with 143,000 left in free cash to carry into the new year. Is that comfortable enough for you? Mm. You said that um, we'd be using the 63,000 in free cash. Towards, towards, towards the that, Oxford, correct. So, we would add the 63, take the 63 away from the 250. We could do that. Could? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was maybe. That would even, be the intent. Even if we what only you put 50,000 in, right. it's, it's more than nothing. So yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we have all this stuff coming down the road. Yes. Whatever we can put away would be great. Yeah. Could we make it an even number and say 200,000? Yeah. For the time being. I, you know, I yeah. think that's one that we can. And look at it again. We can, that one we can wait until the last minute on. I, right. think. I mean, I don't know if we're waiting. If we have 143 left and, we'll, and we put 650 back in, it has 193 of free cash carryover, which is way less than what we should normally, be Normally, right. What we normally but do. we've got a lot of other things in this budget that mm -hmm. right. are not normally in this budget. Correct. Um, I don't think we'll be using as much snow and ice as what I've stuck in there for right now, but. We'll know that in a couple of weeks, too. Mm -hmm. Do you know where we are on that right Good now? Right now, we're just over 23,000. Um, but I, I understand he's building something to, he's building a piece of machinery that 
would normally cost quite a bit, and he's building it for a very small amount to help with the. Uh, what is it? I don't building? know. I, I was there <laughs> when he was talking about it too. Something that something that wets down the roads so that they can put the salt down ahead of time. Oh. Um, Look, well, yeah, it, it's a very expensive machine to buy, but he said he could build it for about six thousand. Is that right? I, I can't remember. Sounds but anyway, like farmers, it was a spread. farmers' project. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so I know that that we've we've Salt purchased some spread. of those parts already. But how many still need to be done? <clears throat> and will there be any other ice issues between now and town meeting? I don't know, but no. I can't imagine it'll be much. Instead of putting the just the salt down, he was using a liquid, and whether it was no. The uh, brine kind of thing? Yeah, retreating the roads. But we saw them. Hmm. Well, no, That's we why we didn't switch. We, we, yeah. Brining, we, right? right. We were going to get a grant, try to get a grant for that. Was where mm -hmm. We were going to go for, for regionalization. As of, far as the stabilization fund, uh, the Capital Improvement Committee uh, recommended the 250 only if it was pending funds, sure. if they were available. Mm -hmm. And we knew it was going to be a tough year, so we knew that number would probably be adjusted or could yeah. be adjusted. So as far as what everybody feels comfortable with for a number, as right. you had said, mm -hmm. something is better than nothing Absolutely. for that. Well, I, I think if we had a joint meeting again, um, I think people would understand paying off the Oxford loan made sense compared to just having the money sit. Mm -hmm. So right. even though we're putting aside less, using 50000 towards paying off the loan makes sense too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like probably earn fifty. right? And I mean, how much will we save? I mean, we're going to save. Well, we want to pay the whole thing off. We're going to pay the, but if we didn't pay it off, we're going to pay right. ninety-five, basically 95000 a year for three years. Right. right. Plus the interest in. So right, the interest we're going to 15, save. 15000 10000 and 5000 or maybe it's 12000 8000 and 4000 But by paying it off, we don't have the 95000 in the budget. So we That's pay. correct. Right, so it just we, makes sense. We don't yeah. need the 95000 right. We won't so, need the budget 95000 next year. We won't pay it. We won't need the budget again the 95000 the year after. Right. Or the interest payments. Or the interest. Well, hopefully we can put that towards stabilization. So, right, in those years. Mm -hmm. Or to new mm -hmm. debt. Yeah, but exactly. okay. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, or OPEP. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's really to give us the flexibility, uh, more flexibility than we have, reduce that bumping into that cap. Yeah. Because the Oxford debt is within the, the cap. Mm -hmm. so. I see. And that's another reason to get rid of it. I think there's Skip. consensus. Oh, did you did you all? Yeah, it no, wasn't it wasn't debt excluded. Can I ask what the highway garage fund is? What's it being used for? Parties every Friday. They get pizza. The highway garage. That was for know. the construction of the highway garage, but it's been on hold to close that out until we know whether uh, we needed to put in piping for the new water. I don't know. I haven't Little talked to Kevin about swales. it in months. Pipe the swales. What's that? Pipe the swales. The no, swales. it was for water to the. For the what? It, uh, it had something to do with with Dumont yeah. coming yeah. in and and whether they needed to redo the piping. Oh, I think yep. they were the still waiting for an road. answer from the water department as to whether they had the water district right to do I that. Pipe water in for Dumont. Well, <laughs> there. Uh, the, the problem is, is that the water main that exists goes through the, the Dumont property. Right. And I'm sorry, the through the, bakery. the, the uh, Baker's. Baker's property. Yeah. And uh, there's been a lot of conversation as to, you know, the town working with the bakery people. Uh, they have not been very responsive. And uh, I, they, I've had a few meetings with their engineers in years past. And um, I feel totally comfortable saying they don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, so I think to uh, save our own building and with the Dumonts that there's been discussion about running a water main from Sugarloaf Street up to the town's garage and, you know, let the uh, bakery people do what they want with their water. So right now that's coming off 
It comes so from Coates. It comes from Coates <laughs> Ave, and it comes next to uh, I think where um, the Phillips house is, yeah. and, it, and it comes together as a Y. Then it comes over to where the highway garage is, and it actually goes into a, there is a water main where the highway garage is, and it goes over toward where the Dumont property is now. But it's all fed from the Coates Ave area. Uh, Avenue mm -hmm. main with the exception of that one branch that <coughs> comes across the Phillips property mm -hmm. and th there was going to have to be some sort of a an agreement between the town and the uh, bakery people as to you know who's responsible and how we share expenses <coughs> if there's a failure because it does not belong to the water department it belongs to the property owner so it just seemed to make sense all along to put in our own water main. And it really wasn't going to be all that expensive. I think it was around $28,000. So. Bruce? Um, not from Sugarloaf Street all the way to Juma, not $28,000. From Sugarloaf Street to uh -huh. the first driveway that turns off, because that's where the main was dead ended. So I, 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 I want to say, Bruce, it was about 300 feet, maybe. Yeah. Th that figure, 28,000, so sounds familiar. Potentially. Oh. Another twenty thousand. Not to be on the wage rate. You're gonna be. Uh, well, he, 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 had, a he had a quote from two contractors. Yeah. I mean, Who did? Uh, Kevin. Kevin did. Yep. Beside the point. Yeah. I mean, there are no hydrants involved. So we will anything. have a betterment for Dumont for the for our extending the water to them. No. Why not? The reason is, is because. It, we had an there's like I said this floating agreement with the bakery people in the town so the water was going to be supplied uh, at the easement for Dumont and they've already connected to that Understood. and moved forward. so yeah so they've connected to the, the main and King and Coates correct so what are we doing who cares what, excuse me why do we have to do anything else because we're at because, on the hook. because the town is on the hook as well as the, the bakery people and it, it just gets very convoluted because the bakery people in their agreement were has to create another water main to go around where the existing one is because the existing one's gonna be in the way of the footprint of their building. Right. You know, and it just gets more and more complicated. So for the twenty thousand or thirty thousand right. dollars, it's better for us just to put in that water main than let the bakery people deal with whatever they got. Okay. We'll worry about that one. Yeah. And, and so like that's said, an this expense we'll have to think about somewhere down the line for next the year. Twenty-eight thousand dollars. If that's the price, we'll need to pay for that somehow. Well, it's, it's in the garage think, fund yeah, right that's now. In the that's it is. It's, it's it's still in that capital project fund. That's why I asked. Which is why. Yeah. Which is why. That's why I was asking why it was just sitting there. And didn't mean to start that kind no, of No, no, no. Yeah, thanks, Bruce. <laughs> It will go to whatever's left over will go to back to free cash. Got party around here. <laughs> Possibly, or, or apply it against the loan depending on how much how much is left. So we're going to tell Kevin he's going to bring to an end his Friday afternoon party. That's right. No more Taco Tuesdays. Or Bruce has skipped last, last asked Friday. about it. <laughs> um, we are going to be receiving some revenues from potential. Uh, marijuana growers and retail. Um, Hopefully. Is the selectman discussed how they're going to utilize those revenues? Taco Tuesdays. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I think my, my plan is to do uh, my thought, and I, would, I think we talked about this before, was to not um, education for our students and our residents and not, um, not an ongoing budget issue. So OPEB I want, to, I want to pay it towards items, although a lot of it is impact, so depending on what we're getting. Tax revenue is one thing, the impact is the other. Um, you know, education of our students, you have to kind of support what, that, what, that, what those funds are for. You can't, you know, just spend it on anything you want. Um, but the tax revenue that we get, you know, I'd love to put, my, my thought would be put towards OPEB or something that's not reoccurring, a lot like the pilot, you know, money we get for solar. Same thing. Right. You know, same kind of philosophy is not just fill our budget up and hire people with it and... I know. think the selectmen are come up with a policy and, and accept it and use it, not just talk about it. Because hmm. well, we have talked about it for a long time. Yeah. 
We don't really know, have money. any idea what's coming in. I mean, and we policy. don't know what, what the impact is going to be at this point either. So we're just kind of waiting to see who gets a license and You're when right, that happens. Makes sense to. But we will, as soon as we know more information that make it worthwhile to discuss, we we'll, certainly will discuss it. Okay. So the, the monies do need to go into the general funds, so I know that much. Back, back to the to the budget items. Is there anything else that we need to? How about the 350? Yes, I don't know that you fully approved that the money towards that so do you want to talk about that tonight we voted the, that was that was that weird vote where the, skip said it passed okay it did that was you, you want to re-vote it just uh, we make, it, it'll make it'll make diana happy if we re -vote it. <laughs> what's the number yeah. um, uh, it doesn't have a number the, yeah it's just it's on it's on that one. last page it's highlighted in yellow 350th yeah. the the actual the bu actual budget I uh, haven't gone to the 350th um, to get some more explanation. Um, the actual budget is around 100,000. Um, that seems to be uh, Sunderland, Conway kind of general uh, amount. Um, we're, Hadley spent about 300. That was way out of line. Um, it seems like um, because we're doing this early enough, hopefully we would be able to raise enough money. So we opened the donation account. There is already donations in there. And obviously we'd spend the donation account first rather than town money. But we would anticipate at least 50 of the 100 would be raised through fundraisers and events between now and 2023. And <coughs> in 2023, you know, for sure you'd have parade, fireworks, but you know, none of this has been flushed out 100% yet. This 10,000 is is to, um, you know, once a logo is decided on, to buy some merchandise for, you know, sales and to raise money and to fr it's it's basically front money, at this point, um, you know, to give them some extra money to you know print stuff, and start the fundraising process. And the contribution this year is 10,000. Yes. And I would, we're not really sure 100%, but we're hoping to do 10, 10, and a, like a 20 before the, you know, 20, 23 right. year. Somebody want to make a motion? Uh, that was voted March 12th. I know. I know. Right, you but it was, three. Yeah. that's Not just it. That two was, two voted two for it and three, three, three abstained. Yeah. 203. That was the, the argument, the question was. So but do you want to, I think I, I mean, was. I'm not opposed to re-voting. If we re-vote it. I will change my vote. Uh, hopefully, no one else does, um, or at least hopefully those who are in the affirmative. This is a very, very active committee, committee, and they're very committed to make this happen at the least expense to the town. So, if I could have a motion, so moved. Is there a second? A second. Okay, we have a motion for ten thousand dollars. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? One. So six zero one. Okay. You feel better, Diana? I feel wonderful. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, I, I just want to thank you because seriously, th this is a, a very committed group and they've been very serious about meeting and getting as much information as possible from other towns. Did, did they sure. tell you where we're going to get the money from? Uh, well, they had a lot of plans on, how, on the fundraising, yeah. Well, no, so. for this $10,000. <laughs> They're all taxpayers. Um, What's what do you think the town's total is going to be for this? Hundred thousand? Well, based on what happened in Sunderland and, and Conway, yes, we're we're going with a hundred thousand dollar budget. Okay. Um, but it really depends on the events. Uh, right now, the only thing that's pretty solid, and I mean we're three or four years out, so it's not nothing is solid, solid, but. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd have a parade, you'd have fireworks, um, you're going to have some barbecue. kind of pic picnic kind of barbecue kind of thing. I mean, we, we're, bands. we've just looked at, you know, uh, or they've Goldies looked band. at a lot of, of different events that um, everybody's had. And, mm -hmm. we, and, we, and they've had, um, you know, the chairs of the different uh, town committees come in and, and 
say what went right, what went wrong, you know, what would, if they could redo things, what they would do. And um, I mean, it, it's like I said, it's a very serious group, and they are really trying to be organized. I just, if we're doing 10,000 this year, I'm just looking, if we're thinking about 100,000, I'm just thinking we're uh, what we're going to have to vote for the next couple of years. Right. No, but I just said they're they're anticipating at least fifty thousand raising fifty. 000. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I do understand right. that. Right. But I mean, it's mm -hmm. the thing to to say that we're going to. It's hard enough to come yeah. and ask you for ten thousand when you don't, or you know, things are not no, really I, I solidified. Right. So to ask for twenty five thousand, that would have right. been like way out of line. Mm -hmm. This is just to get started. And you know, right. like I Seat said, we'll money. yes, and we'll um, use the donation money as much as possible, and we'll move forward. And once the events we start getting solid on the events, then we'll have a better idea of what we can raise, mm -hmm. and what events we need to fund, and how right. we're going to fund them. Right. Um, I'm just thinking of all the other things that we're trying to fund mm -hmm. in the next yeah. two, three years I know. too. But and I, <laughs> don't get me wrong; I think it's a great idea. We should celebrate, but. Mm -hmm. Well, I think most people expect something, and so the way to do this is to be organized. That's why I wanted to start it, you know, why we formed the committee as a select board and got going on this, because, you okay. you know, we wanted to plan as much as possible and not be last minute right. with the hands out saying this is what we're going to do. Now that makes sense. So the only budget item that I'm concerned about, um, well, that I'm concerned I don't, we don't have enough in, and... Um, is the seed money for the town common and you're good enough to put 40 in the capital was and then another 40 next year my only concern is just going through the notes you know data for you know back of the napkin stuff that he was looking at 55 um so that would be the only thing that i thought of changing or, re or changing a request on um and you know, and then do it. You know, I don't care if the other side is, you know, 35 in the next year or whatever it is, or, or you know, 25 or something. Um, I think the total is fine. I just my concern was I didn't want to get most of the way through the year and not have any money unless I had another avenue to come and ask, you know, reserve for that. But I don't, I don't know if that's a really a reserve item, where you know we didn't really plan enough for. Right. Well, the capital know. improvement plan is pretty much set in stone mm -hmm. with that dollar figure. But once again, remember, as I pointed out at your sewer meeting, that yeah. the select board right. has the authority Correct. to amend that plan yep. and bring it to town floor. Right. And that's the only thing I kind of wanted to mention was that that was the only item that I was thinking that we may not have enough and would, might want to do an amendment right. on town floor right. to ask for it. Understand you've, right. you've done your work already, and I'm not right. asking you to, right. to change well, we, anything. Well, we can't really because Correct. we had the public meeting and everything, exactly. so, yep. so that's, that's more or less fixed. So. It is. But as I said, right. the select board, from my understanding, has the authority to amend that yes. if they so choose. Right. Same way with the wastewater dollar amount in there that we have. That's right. So that that yep. is up to the select board at this yep. point in time. Yep. I just wanted to let so, you guys know yep. that. No, that we appreciate the heads up. Based just based on his email on those items, I just didn't want to get halfway through the year and realize we don't have it, you know, might as well have two dollars if you don't have enough to do it. So right. that was my only concern. But other than that I'm don't do your homework, and if you're concerned, bring it forward to the yeah, floor, I may. to I the may voters. So I might do. Other than that, I don't think of anything. Do you want to do something with the salary budgets? Um, the, uh, the, the only thing that I know of that we have left is that the last selectman's meeting, uh, the selectman did uh, vote the salary schedule. And uh, so that's something that we haven't addressed. Uh, and we have 15 budgets that need to be adjusted. And I think you have adjusted those. I, I did adjust them for what you have tonight. Okay. The other budget that's open too is the Frontier Regional Transportation. Mm. Yeah, and, and I did not get to that. I said I was going to, and I didn't get to. 
so how would you like to handle those? Sorry. Salary schedule and the budgets were the salaries, the requested figures <coughs> were adjusted to reflect the selectments vote on the salary schedule. What's on here? On here. What we voted or what the selectments? What's, what's recommended Both. is the amount that you originally voted. voted and what's requested is the new amount with the 2% That's the new amount. Who's yeah. the and just for your information, I'd had a line item towards the bottom of this budget all along showing the effect of 27000 um, It ended up being $27,813 was the difference. So That was the total difference? Mm -hmm. 27 Yeah, that includes all budgets, including Zach's. So it's like a 50% increase over the existing budget? Salaries. We have existing increase in 2020 for the salary budget is about 50,000, 55,000. I don't remember anymore. Yeah. It sounds about right. Yeah. So yeah. this is a 50% increase over that. You can make the numbers sound however you want. How many employees is that $27,000 for? I don't remember. Maybe does that 30? include skims or is that separate? Yeah, it, does, it, does. it does include skims. Just yep. looking yep. for it here. It's on the bottom. The only, the only ones that it doesn't include it What's are that? the uh, oh, wastewater treatment plan. Down here. I remember and correctly. Yeah. It does include each of the budgets. Well, yeah. it does, but it doesn't. Not those aren't in our budget. Not because not the budget. wastewater treatment plan is not in the budget here. But it will have it's an under increase. the highway department. Yeah, how it, it it did have an effect in the wastewater treatment plant of about I think forty four hundred dollars yeah. in their salaries. I couldn't remember the exact Sounds amount. Right. I did not reprint anything. In the end, if you want me to reprint some things, I can. I just felt like it was wasting a lot of paper. Mm -hmm. So we have three. Brenda, do you have a copy of the salary schedule? Uh, the new, the new the, one. The well, one I don't. That the selectman, uh, What's that? The one that the selectman approved. Well, or I have, I have my pencil they didn't scratched one. The, the one that's going to town meeting, I should say. Right. They haven't approved the, uh, they approved the increase. Did you happen to update that at all and print it? The new salary schedule. You didn't do that. Uh, I have updated it. Uh, well, not since the games we run. Okay. Now, no. uh, so, uh, so I have, I have a copy. Um, you have to find it. I have one. Um, I have a copy with some pencil scratches that get it to the exact photocopy for people. Is that the is that yeah, the new one? Some, the one that you, the one that you approved. Yeah. Just, just, yeah, it just rounded yeah. different. Here's, here's an extra copy. May I ask a question? Has there been any further discussion about uh, evaluation procedure for the town employees? Because I remember last year we talked about that, and Wendy was pushing that as far as the increases here, as far as the step in the COLA that supposedly they're, they're going to be looking into uh, written evaluations for the town employees. I, I, I think it's a good idea, but I, I honestly, Jeff, I don't think it would work. <coughs> I think. Uh, well, that's what I'm wondering. Because, you know, I think every department head would say that their staff's doing the, a terrific job and, you know, they're working hard and, you know, they're. Uh, As a member of the personnel committee, we have, we have, the finance committee appointed me as your rep. Mm -hmm. Um, when Wendy was here, there was a discussion relative to this, and pretty much the answer was what Skip just said. Um, but we still feel there's a need for the evaluation process, whether it's tied to a salary increase or not, that you have to, you should do an evaluation on every employee yearly. And it should be done by the department heads, and then, um, I'm not sure who's going to do the department heads, but that needs to be accomplished. 
We need to have some record of performance for every employee in town. You make a great secretary. I just, I just struggle yeah, with it a little job. bit because, uh, you know, and don't get me wrong, because I think there's some people are well deserving of of uh, decent raises, but if we're going to do a five percent roughly seven. every year, seven. Yeah, well, between five and seven. That was last year and this year. Yeah. Uh, and it becomes an automatic raise. I, I struggle with that a little bit because there's not too many people out there in the real world that are hitting five and seven, somewhere between five and seven percent on an annual basis for increases. And like I say, once again, there's some people that we have working for this town that I think are a little underpaid, to be honest with you. But there are some people that are a little overpaid too, or, or if you're looking at a five to seven percent annually, year after year, and I know it's not a lot of money, but still, you know, two years ago, I remember <laughs> supposedly we did the catch-up routine yeah. for our town employees to, and gave them a pretty decent increase. And I had no problem with that. I voted for it. Uh, last year, uh, we came up with a 5 to 7% increase. And I didn't support that, only because supposedly there was discussion about, well, what are we comparing it to? In part of it, I think it was the school system, because they do get step in an increase. But they also have an evaluation uh, process there, and they also have state requirements that they have to meet on a fairly regular basis. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm I guess I'm, I guess I'm struggling with this a little bit and because just because of the percentage I'm not saying the money's a big deal you know twenty seven thirty thousand dollars wherever the case may be but can, can I maybe maybe add a little clarification sure so you have you have ten steps and this right. year you happen to have seven or eight or nine employees that are already at step 10. So they're only getting a 2% raise. Right, correct. So, so as people get experience and they get up to level 10 and you continue to give the COLA to this plan, mm -hmm. they will continue <coughs> to stay on step 10 and continue to get only the COLA. Right. So, so in the end, you're not giving out five to seven percent raises to For everybody, everybody every year. Right. It ends up leveling off over a period of time. Um, the personnel committee decided that there's on review needed on a five-year basis of this compensation ca uh, classification plan just because of that fact. Um, you're going to have senior department heads reaching uh, maximum uh, salary and um, you're only going to give them two percent. Yes, that's where they're that's at, the and that's where a lot of the. And that and that is the goal of the community. I think so. Okay. I think I mean. And I that's think, fine. We didn't realize that was the goal. No, of the I think. I, yeah, I think uh, personally, my goal, not the board's goal, but my goal, as I looked at this over a couple of years, would be um, that yes, once our employees are proficient in their job, and I I feel. Before 10 years, I mean, if I, you know, we have some people that are not at step 10 that are extremely proficient at their job and should be at step 10, because I feel like that's what the community should pay if we feel that community, this community should pay that position as, as you know, completely proficient in their job at step 10, and then after that, yes, it's a, it's a cola. I mean, unless you're right, <laughs> that, uh, every five or 10 years you look at a market and you know, five or seven years, whatever that, that time frame is, I know, I think you talked about five years, you would look at market-based research and are we still, I mean, Competitive. I'm looking at and a position now. do you need now. to adjust your salary schedule yeah. that? I Correct. completely understand that. We're looking at a position now in town and that, that position, it's very hard to get somebody in on, you know, with their skill, with the market that's out there, where they can go, for the money that we want to pay, and it's going to be going to be very difficult or, or next to impossible to fill that position. Mm -hmm. And you know, so I don't, you know, the market changes quicker, I think, than we can. And 
it's hard, and you got to look at what that does to morale for other people, where, where you bring them in. You know, it's complicated. Right. Well, that's that's the key. People coming in as far as negotiating where they want to be placed on the salary schedule, exactly. and a lot of times people don't really understand that completely or feel right. comfortable with that. Right. So that's there could be a little disadvantage there. So they start right. lower than what they probably should for the oh. experience and the skills that they have, the skill and, sets. Yeah, and what so, they can get every, those, everywhere else. Those are some of the people I'm talking about that yeah. deserve more. But I agree. Before, I, let me pass this out just so they have it. I am, the, I am conflicted on this. <coughs> that's the salary <coughs> schedule that the town voted at the uh, 2012 <coughs> uh, town meeting for FY13. And I think if you take a look at it, there clearly is a difference, but, uh, sorry. but there's not a, it's not as drastic a, a difference. I don't want to, you know. It's not as drastic a difference as a, uh, no, okay, great. I know I have one. It's yeah. So, so this is it's not that we're that far away from where we were six years ago. I agree. Yeah. So, right. Right. If you look at level one, step one, 1202 versus 1353. So, yes, when you add the step plus the COLA, it is percentage-wise a larger percentage, but... On the other hand, well, actually, depending on this is the old 80 percent, 80 cent, right? Oh, so not a percent, it's just a dollar. Oh, just, right. just, just 80, 80 cents. Just straight 80, 80 cents. Well, 80 cents. if you added two percent to that, then uh, be 96 cents for the call instead. I mean, I, it's the lower ends that have the higher percentage, and, and it's the lower ends that we. Yep. need to pay attention to because you're really still paying less than $15. Well, well it is, but as, as uh, Trevor just mentioned, trying to find somebody for a position that's vacant now and, you know. Well, we might have to hire him for step 10. Hmm? We might have to hire him for step 10. That's, 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 that's a problem as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, that's that's okay. what, <clears throat> where we are. But yes, yep. that's why I propose additional steps <clears throat> beyond step 10, eliminate a step a year, add a new step. So Bruce, what you're talking about is eliminate step one and add step, step 11. Step 11, which is higher. I mean, you're going to be, 2% is not going to do it at the higher level. It's not going to keep up with the economy. Not with, at the higher level. <laughs> when you maximize your department heads to 2%, I just don't think you're going to be able to hire somebody to replace that person when they leave. Do that every year and forgive Cole, you mean? Well, you, you, yeah, it, that was my initial. You just have to redo the salary schedule. I mean, the salary schedule doesn't stick around for 100 years. That's my point, we, uh -huh. that we discussed that we'd have to do it at least every five years at a minimum. That's, I don't have a problem with that. I, but I'd like to have a salary schedule that's for the money people could have said, you know. But set. So in any event, the question is, are we going to address this issue vis-a-vis -vis the, the, the 10 or 12 budget items there that uh, the requested figure is now $1,000 here and $1,000 there above the recommended? What was the personnel committee's recommendation? Personnel committee's recommendation um, was a step increase for all 10 steps, and for step 10, a 2% COLA. No, 2%, no, 2% for the rest of it. So yeah. the step increases, there's no COLA. Step increase, no COLA, except for when you reach step 10 plus, you get a 2% COLA. That was uh, the recommendation. Slotman voted to last Wednesday to um, approve the 2% across the board COLA. Was that unanimous on the personnel committee? No. We've we made a recommendation to the well, selectmen. Yeah. What was that? And, and we made a presentation to the selectmen. The selectmen decided last Wednesday to make their decision. The, uh, the teachers are all.
all in negotiations, both at the at Frontier and at the elementary school. Mm -hmm. what about so the in police the police department? department. They're in oh. negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> so you're stuck. I know Bex, when we first started the review process, I voted against the increase, and then somebody pointed out, I think it was last year, that the 20 or so employees that are on the contract are getting hurt because we voted a lesser amount of raise than the teachers and the police, and that's really not fair to them. That's, that's not always an option. I don't know if that's a situation now. Uh, definitely, I think it's going to be. We're going to be voting less COLA. That's my impression. In the years, for, in the years, in the years, two, two years, mm -hmm. we, for 2020, I think will be let, probably <coughs> less COLA than what teachers I, might I get. Told, I agree with that. I was that. told that if you look at the current teacher contract that expires this year, that for FY19, uh, there was a two and a half percent cola across the board. FY eighteen, there was a two and a half percent cola. Yep. And one. FY seventeen was a was a one percent. One percent. Yeah, and which averages out to two. Right. Which averages out to two. Right. So we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, maybe maybe the school committees will will hold the line. <laughs> well, I think I think if we're going to tie the 20 permanent employees and multiple skims and part-time employees, which I think skims has close to 100 total people. Skims? But, yeah, 80. No. No, no they, have, they have a part -time. A, a smattering of part-timers. Um, We're about a total I, of 100. I think they have a total of 40 uh, right. if, if you count the part-timers, right. which yeah, you're right. the so per diems don't. Right. don't work very often. So we should next year, whatever the school gets, we should change the classification schedule and make that exactly the same as what the, for the employees. That's what we're saying. I, if we're tying this to a school. As a, as a, cola, as a general as rule. A cola or, or no, as a general rule across the board. Whatever their step increase is, if it's 3%, we should adopt that. We want to make everybody equal. You run into a problem with that, though, because teachers get upset about that because they pay union dues to have somebody negotiate their contracts. So it's, it, it yep. and like I say, they also go through an evaluation process, which doesn't happen with the town employees. So, so there's, there's, so you know, to try to, to try to make them the same is, I think, a little tricky under that's been the reasoning for the increase right. from day one. I, I, have, I have no objection whatsoever, and I support completely the idea that everyone ought to have a performance evaluation. Mm -hmm. I'm not inclined to tie the performance evaluation to salary increase because of the difficulty that you have where you've got all the information Salary information is is open to the public, and it doesn't take very long uh, for Jeff to notice that he got a salary increase and I didn't. That's correct. So, why was that? Oh, must have been his job performance. Uh, on the other hand, quite honestly, if you got an employee who doesn't deserve salary increase, performance increase. Maybe they don't deserve the job. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you'd be documenting that. Well, that's what you need. What's that? And hopefully, right. you would be documenting. That's why you need the evaluation yes, process. Yes. Right. Now, I completely agree. The evaluation process is essential. It works. It works for the for the employee at least as much as it works for the town. Yeah. Sure. Yes. It gives the employee a good idea where. Let's see. Employee goals. Skills are and he needs improvement. It can be very positive feedback for yep. employees yes. if done properly. Yep. I mean, a little bit off the subject, but I can remember uh, I taught up in Greenfield, for those who don't know, uh, and, and uh, 
one of the teachers had a habit of leaving the classroom and going to the administrator's office for some reason or other to get something and then coming back so that there was no coverage in the classroom. And the response back from everybody was, oh, that person's been doing that for 20 years. But if you look, I'm sure if you looked at the performance review, there's nothing that was ever said in the performance review about you shouldn't be doing that. So how do you, how do you discipline the person now that, right. other than to say, hey, you can't leave the classroom without coverage. So if you're going to leave the classroom, you need to talk to the person next door and say that you're going to be away from the classroom for two minutes or three minutes and leave the door open. But nobody ever said that to this person, I think. Uh, yeah. The mo <clears throat> excuse me. The motion that we would make would be to improve, uh, approve the classification conversation schedule as presented by the selectmen. Or will it be to approve Richard percent COLA as approved by the selectmen? I would say to vote the compensation schedule as we have it here. That's all. Just we, we don't schedule. have it. We do someplace. I just gave it to yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. This is. Yeah. Can yeah. I make a motion that we approve the FY20 DFEO compensation classification schedule as presented, which includes a step and in COLA increase for all employees, all town employees? Um, that's the motion. Is there a motion? Is there a second? I'll second that. It's moved, it's seconded. Is there any further discussion? Did the longevity uh, uh, stay the same as it was? Yes. 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 5% plus COVID. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Raise your hands, if you would. All those opposed? One opposed. Abstentions? One abstention. So five in favor, one opposed, one abstention. Thank you. And so in essence, do we, do we, does that, since we've approved or we voted for that, can Brenda go in and make the adjustments on these? That's why I asked the question what the motion should be. I think we should make a motion to approve all of the amended budgets. I wonder if we can in, do Individually that. or can we do that I'm wondering collectively? if we can do that collectively since okay. they all follow yep. the same rules. That would be fine. Everybody's comfortable with that. Someone want to make a motion to that effect? I will make that motion to approve all of the payroll budgets with the amended compensation schedule. To reflect uh, the, the increase in the salary schedule? Yes, thank you. Okay. It's moved. Is there a second? Second. It's moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. <coughs> Opposed? Extensions, so the seven, eight, three, one, or four, one, two, four. right? Oh. Four in favor, one opposed, two abstentions. Okay. Do we have any other items that we need to take up tonight? I, I, just had, I have a question, and sure, I've been out just long enough, um, and maybe Brian has been involved with the solar. Uh, negotiations as far as the have you no uh, I, I'm not involved in any of the solar which negotiations. the recent the recent one you wonder well the, the, the recent one yeah we, we, uh, because I guess you know uh, the way they've been setting them up is so much per year correct okay so now what happens if our rate because of uh, uh, overrides uh, debt exclusions or whatever goes up two dollars now, do they get a free ride? Because the DOR recommends that the negotiations be for the valuation and not the dollar amount. And we are doing them by the dollar amount. So now what happens is every year when you do it by the dollar amount, you have to go backwards and feed the valuation in to get the dollar amount. So it that means if you go up $2, you got to devalue their value way down for that year. So basically, they get a free ride. Okay. 
Okay. It, so well, and I think the calculation for Karen is very, very difficult. It, well, it is, and yeah. that's what that's why the DOR recommends that you go by the valuation mm -hmm. and not the dollar value, because because it has to be backed in backwards every year. So if we're going to be taking on this absurd deck down the road for sewer, <laughs> one thing or another, capital improvements and so forth, uh, are we getting what we really should be? Is if you're what you're taxing Jeff and Skip and myself and everybody else? Was my question. Well, Can you re rephrase that just so I can understand it? Well, I'm just wondering what you mean. What What happens is they set a dollar amount. They and, and, and like say, 19, say, 19, say it's 10, 000 10, 000 10 million dollars. Yeah. And and the value of the property gets devalued over 20 years. Okay. It's scheduled. Yeah. Gotcha. A, a scheduled Appreciate depreciation over 20 yep. years. Yep. Right. He's, Somehow he's, they negotiate. You know, I don't know whether it's two and a half percent increase or three percent increase and. In, Taxes per That's the year, mill rate. and that gets included the tax rate as against the depreciation. So now, what happens when you end up with several debt exclusions that you may add up over that 20 years, a couple dollars, because you have fixed the tax dollar that they're paying. So now, but yet, so now as far as the Department of Revenue. Now, when you send an evaluation, what has to happen there, the assessors have to back that valuation down to meet the payment. Correct. So, therefore, in, a, in essence, uh, my valuation for $100,000 is at uh, $20 per thousand, $20 per thousand, because they're doing a fixed amount, their valuation comes out at eighteen dollars a thousand because they had to devalue to get down to that fixed to payment. that fixed whatever. I'll take this last pilot payment, right? Nineteen thousand uh, dollars a year, right? Right. And the value was two million six hundred and whatever, two million seven hundred thousand dollars. Right. At a mill rate of one point five, the value was. Assessment is uh, would be you know forty one almost forty two thousand dollars and their annual payment is nineteen thousand and then as you but you get to year twenty the value now is six hundred and seventy two thousand right your mill rate is two point two but the value is fifteen thousand is that what you're talking about so, like so they so they've increased the value from fifteen dollars to twenty two dollars over the, over that period of time yes, yes. okay so I think the that's right over I twenty could, years. And, and calculate the depreciation in it, and then they basically just break out that payment over 20 years. Right, so but what happens when you get these interim years that you do debt exclusions mm -hmm. where it raises your tax rate? Mm -hmm. Is right. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I, Bruce, I understand what you're saying. We'd have to talk to John um, Cordier on this because he's, he was back and forth with DOR on it. So, yeah. I mean, we don't have an answer to that. But you're right, yeah, because you but don't know what you're right. pulling in, right? You don't well, know what you're uh, we, I, we I don't know whether you might have an answer or whether it's, it's this might be just as much as a, as a question mark for yourselves mm -hmm. to follow up on. Right. Well. I think yep. there's also a distinction point. because this isn't, this isn't, this is personal property, <coughs> so it's not real estate. So what you're talking about is debt exclusions. Those are on real estate. I don't know if they apply. No, they're on everything. Are they on yeah. personal it goes property? on personal okay. property as well. Okay, I wasn't quite sure. That's the only Yes. It's, it's, on the tax it's, rate. it's not on the so personal on. property like your cars. I see. Okay, but on not on the excise. It's not an excise. Not on excise. Okay. All right. so we uh, should check. But Bruce, isn't the whole reason for them doing it this way is a certain portion of solar is tax exempt? As if I was to build a steel structure that made marigold seals, seeds, um, I would be taxed on that because because I have to pay taxes on it. Because it's solar and it's tax exempt, that's how, how they even get into this, you know, making payments in lieu of taxes. No, where they can calculate no. no, it well, is not tax exempt. It's only tax exempt if you're using it for your, your exclusive use. Right. But if you're selling it to somebody else, it is not tax exempt. Because if it was tax exempt they wouldn't even have to negotiate a pilot. Right. But the okay. conversation, what started this whole thing, is that you know Massachusetts is really pushing this thing, and that's where everybody believes it was going. So I, I, I'm not sure yeah. of this, but I'm talking of commercial because you're right. residential, you're small users I, I get that. Uh, that are using it for their property. Mm -hmm. 
are that is an exemption. You're talking solar fields. But field. you're talking these solar fields that are commercial, they're privately owned. Uh, what the whole uh, issue with pilot was was to make it easier for them so they could stabilize their payments. payments. In all reality, uh, what it uh, what it does is uh, make it a lot easier because they can cash in on the SREX and everything else, and then three years down the road sell it to some other company that's from California, Nevada, or anything else with a stable. But what it does is hurt the town because, in essence, you lose your new growth as well. Okay, because uh, um. your your new growth would only be nineteen thousand for the first year instead of three million. So if would you suggest that we do not enter into pilot agreements with these Some people? towns don't, some, uh, there's a few towns that have not. And just charge them a tax on the appropriate valuation of the equipment? On, on a given year. Yep. So, and it's I, tapered down accordingly. Yep. I, I, I guess I would it's just a difficult have Diana just pass it on to John. Yeah. And John to talk again with the DOR because the problem is you do want to encourage them to happen. Right. Um, so. If you hold off from agreeing to a pilot, you might end up with nothing, you know, them going somewhere else. Oh. Because part of that is, is guaranteeing the financing as well, because this is what they have, it's a stable payment schedule. So yes, I agree that we hadn't considered that, but on the other hand, you might not have it happen if you can't guarantee a, a, you know, a, a stable payment. Right, it's just that you, if, if, if that's the way it's going, when you do have a debt exclusion, then you're actually uh, penalizing every, every other taxpayer because you won't give me a stable tax rate for the next 20 years. <laughs> oh, yes, it keeps going on. <laughs> yeah, it's going to keep going on 5% a year. How's that? <laughs> Agree? Yeah. Actually, some years that would, actually, some years that, uh, that would be a better deal. Better deal. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, because it's two and a half percent of the cap, not two two and a half percent of your property. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, do we have any other business? Thank you. Yeah. Just Thank an you. FYI, I'm meeting with uh, the town's insurance agent, Nick, tomorrow to try and see if we can get a better handle on how much scams should pay and how much the sewer should pay. Now, this, this is so uh, the. Uh, so all the insurances, oh. liability, workers' comp, property and casualty. OPEB as well? No. Okay. No. Well, well, not employee are... benefit insurance. Okay. okay. Because you want to While you guys are talking about that, we really need to address the whole amount that uh, we should be collecting from SCAMS for the OPEB thing, too. That's still okay. Yeah. No, that's why. Yeah. Because yeah. It, that, that might be something that, as we look at indirect costs, it might be something that we address with the indirect cost calculation, right? Okay. Okay. Isn't that what we were talking about? Right. Yes. All right. I just don't, it's been a couple years now, and there's no. No, I, I know. Here. That's, a, that's. Yeah. yeah. But. That, that is, a, it could be a significant issue. I just, but. I, I if I come up with different amounts than what are on here. Well, then we can. We can we it's not do? too late to voted? make. It's not too late to make changes we at this well, point. Well, we that over here to come up with different amounts. It may be something we have to take into account for next year. But that's so I'm just way saying. Way. I just so really other. We can come up yeah. with. Yeah. Now let's see how material they. So are. next question yeah. is: Do we have anything? Does the finance committee need to meet again between now and town meeting? Uh, I think you want to no, finalize no. your recommendation on the capital stabilization. Um, what else was there? Um, Frontier, the the regional transportation issue. Uh, so do so we want to meet that. next Tuesday, yeah, which would be the uh, the ninth, or do we want to meet on the sixteenth? Why don't we skip a week? In case I was going to say let's skip up. skip a week, and then we'll be more solidified for the sixteenth. Okay, so the sixteenth. What about the articles? We have to review all the articles. We recommend yes. But we don't. By then, we'll know what they are. Maybe we'll have. Maybe we'll actually have uh, the, the motions well, the that be made. They would have to already be posted. Right? Yeah. Because they have to be posted. Because be nice to have the motions too, so we can see it's a what. Holiday. They have to be posted at the end of next week. Yeah. So, but that's just the articles. The motions will be in a book and it'll be more expansive. Yeah. And yes, you can look at those as they become. So the sixteenth then. Sounds great. Uh, I have a meeting already on the sixteenth. I believe. As does Bruce. I mean, I guess is it? What time is that? Six. No. Five. Five. That one's at five. The building committee? No. Is it personnel? Personnel is at five. Right. But is that on Tuesday or Monday? 
Monday. It's, it had to go to a Tuesday. It had to go to a Tuesday. Oh, oh, right, 16. because that's Patriot Day. Yeah, so that's well, we won't have much to do. Monday. We don't care. We won't have much to do. So we can still meet at 6? So 6, 6 o'clock or 6.30? 6 is fine. We'll be done. We'll be done by the time we open the door. Okay. Meeting. So on the 16th at 6 o'clock. Okay. Do we want to do that with the select board again to finalize things or not? That's fine. Are you making a presentation to the well, we have personnel board? Well, is there well, anything you've asked that, me for several things. Yeah. You know, I don't know if there's anything you want to address together, but you know, maybe the capital stabilization and any other. Well, we can make a decision on the right. stabilization the plans. The following night, the 17th, is the sewer work. We don't on the 17th. Okay. Yeah, All right. So it's going to say maybe we get together on to your meeting, then, but it won't work then. We'll, okay. Yeah. So 16th at 6 o'clock. 16th yeah. uh, at 6. I will entertain a motion right. to adjourn. No more. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who made the motion? What did I ask her? No, Bruce. This sewer workshop on the 17th. Do you have any? Well, I, I hope that he was going to have the financing. Um, you know, I, my thought was that. Hopefully, hmm? I got to. Um, before I leave tonight, I'm going to get an answer and get well, you guys in. I think, I think John, what, what time that? is your? So um, were that. you meeting with the insurance? And then my thought, yeah, Ten, the Dropbox, oh, and then everybody. I can't um, come. Oh, no, I can't. The, um, then the other thing was to have. Um, when you when you talk to him, um, discussion of the rates. The impact can you just ask rates, him if he's updating you know, our and, you know, our I'm buildings? I'm going to try and get it out before that, so everybody can talk yeah. about it. I think that. Uh, okay, because I don't know if they're. You know, I asked Diana at least for tomorrow to get a new charge yeah. for the sewer yeah. study. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd and like I, to get them I know we had back really involved. Um, gone I want any... to talk with her. Uh, about it. If he's, yeah, no, is no, it, no but if he's okay agenda? with it, it is okay, good. You know, I just want you to okay. verify that he's, yeah. you know, feels sewer comfortable sewer with we're, that. We're, we're still on the air. What happens still is in session. you have a loss, and you're well, not at least some of us are. Then they penalize you on your loss. So tomorrow, I guess. We he mentioned, I don't know, the a couple of years ago he mentioned the sewer, sewer plants committee. are undervalued. Yeah. Okay. He thought. But maybe it's been updated with him and Wendy. I don't know. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of don't want to increase those. Because I agree. Yep. Yep. I may be swinging alone out there, but. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I just know that we as a, you know, insurance committee, per se, has not increased the value of our building. We'll have to talk that over, right? Yeah. Uh, myself, the town administrator, and it used to be Mary Correct. Carson. But, I mean, we, okay. I basically where it comes out. But I haven't, I, I have not done any right. building values. Yeah, we can't, we can't have it anywhere else. So we're going to do it out and open on that. Okay, fine. Yeah. Because what Came we want to do is make sure that we're, we're waiting for the other meeting participant here. Loss. I know. From a journey. Sorry. Oh, I am. No, I, I want to make <laughs> sure. Okay. I want to talk to you about. Uh, I want to get the sewer study committee back together, and so I asked Diana to draft their charge that Bruce was looking for. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything you want to talk about that? Because I, I think that they really need to start. Meeting and uh, you know, discussing this. Well, the only thing I wanted to make sure is that we had the April 17th meeting, mm -hmm. joint meeting. Right, but right. there's a lot of work that needs to go into this before, and I know that you showed some concern about you, you not being part of that discussion, and you asked them not to meet unless we all met. Well, and it's because I didn't want what I didn't, I was concerned. What happens is if we don't all hear the information, my concern was we were not hearing the information together. Right. And then everybody was putting individual spins on it and, and then going off in millions of directions. But if we met together, mm -hmm. we heard the information together, then we make, together. then we collaborate together. I, First, I understand that, but w w the result of that has been they haven't met. Because well, because we haven't right. had anything from the but now we days. Did right. I think well, it's time is, to move. Right, but what I said earlier is what we have is 
a straight path. And if you if you choose to follow that path, that's one thing. But there's a lot of alternatives, and that's what we need. They need to get together and do this, with or without us. I, I think with us. Well, we. Uh, I, I don't want to meet. Okay, so the, the what thing happens is if they want to meet next Wednesday? We've got a meeting. Mm -hmm. So we're saying you guys can't do that without us. We, I, think I mean, that I think they can, but, it, board, but it's, and they know. I think they can, but it would be a waste of time. I think because I. I I, want to I don't hear want to it. say a waste of time, but I just, if we're not all in the same car together, discussing it together, they're advisory. They're not making the decision. I want to be able to make a decision right. with their help. But what they can do is they can talk about, you know, the six horsepower motor or the two horsepower motor, the uh, chemical aeration or the bubble aeration. They can go through the stuff that might be above our heads. And that way they can come back and say, we've looked at all these different avenues and we agree with this proposal, or we disagree with this approach, and this is why. And, and by us tying their hands saying we all have to be there, they don't do it. Yeah, but what, what happened last time is they met for, what, 18 months or two years? Mm -hmm. And then there didn't seem like there was any consensus. Well, they didn't have well, that. I, I agree with Kip, they didn't have that. Right. Well, well that's not true. We, well. All right, all right, we didn't have this one from Dave Prickett, but we had the one from Weston Sampson. Okay. Which didn't, and, I mean, that was a proposal for a big building, though. That no, wasn't it, it, an no, assessment. It, it, it had the assessment for a whole nine yards. It talked about the pump stations between Old Deerfield, getting rid of Old Deerfield. It had language all over the place. And, and you're right, Carolyn, that we didn't come to a consensus. There was a, a definitely a divide in that group as to how to move forward. And the majority of the people uh, thought that they wanted some professional guidance because you know they they didn't feel comfortable making decisions like that. So that's when we reached out to you know uh, Stancic and several different several engineers, words. and we had that meeting. Then do you remember we actually had a straw poll. Well, somehow that straw poll got pulled into. We got this guy on board, and Wendy just took off with it. We never voted it, and. If you remember, no, we, we did. did. Yes. We did. We did no, vote it. We, yes, we, we did. We voted it the night when we signed that contract. But That's mm, when we did. I think we we yeah the took whole, a straw poll. The, the whole plan the was whole, to move forward with him. I have right, no doubt right. about that. Right. The whole point of having that meeting but, though and, and doing I, the straw poll was to everybody agree that Dave Prickett was their choice. Well, everybody did not agree, but you know the majority. Well, the it's majority the, did. The majority did, and it was a straw poll. No, we didn't. Nobody made a motion to 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 formally hire him. Until well, no, because it was our choice. It was our. Yeah, it's not up to them to. to yeah. Vote. I, so I get that, but what I'm saying to you is that we voted on it after Wendy contacted them, told mm -hmm. them that they were going to be the ones, and they submitted a contract to us. And the night when we had the contract in front of us is when it was voted on to go right. with them. Okay. Makes but, sense. But what I'm saying is that there's a lot of information that needs to get done in a very short amount of time. Because, like you said, how, what are you going to say to the people when you, when you get up there? You know, I have a good we, idea. You know, but and, and I'm going to be, I am definitely going to bring it forward that, you know, we have no clue. I mean, there's, well, you there's <laughs> several. Well, you don't either. Yeah, I do. I, I have oh, a pretty you're, good What clue. you're going to say is we're going to take this plan and go with it. No. Not any that's explanation. Not, that's not, that's not is it. A $3 million Wrong. headworks that's versus wrong. a $200,000 channel cleaner. Wrong. And you've got no other opinion. Sure, and, I do. Yeah, so. So why is this my, right and the other one is wrong? That's not the Bible. That's not the only thing we're going to do. I'm going to ask well, the town. Right, I'm so, going to. Let me finish. I'm going to ask the town people and the rate payers to trust us as a committee and as the town to move forward with a plan of doing a certain dollar amount. Whether it winds up 18 or 17 or 15 or 19, that's not really the point at the, at the moment. The point is to ask for approval to move forward with this project of a headworks, a secondary clarifier, uh, the chlorine and generator and, and updating electrical for, for South Deerfield plant. Not even thinking about Old Deerfield yet, and all the other stuff that has to happen. All of that's going to come into this, but my view is that I'm going to ask for that ability to go forward so that we can then be favorable to get grant money. And if we find we get no grant money, it's too much money, and we need to pull back, then we pull back and we readjust, and then we only go forward, and I will only go forward when I 
and I will go, go to the townspeople every step that I decide we're going to take out a loan for any amount of money. Just say, yes, we have your approval, but I want you to know here's where we're at in this process. This is the amount of money we're going to go forward. We felt like it was too much money to do chlorine change over to this. We're going to stay with this. We're going to, you know, based on input from the sewer study committee, KIP, us here, our consultant, or whoever wins the bid on the consultant, because I understand that it does have to go to bid, then we'll, then we'll go forward in each step going down the road. But I don't want to come back to them every, I can't come back to them with a definitive, this is exactly what we're going to do. And I can't, um, I can't risk coming back to them every single time I want a little bit more money. I want them to approve the project going forward as a skeleton outline and then I'll fill that in. We will all fill that in as we go, but we can't, we can't constantly hold a special town meeting every time we want a million bucks or a, you know, a, you know, we need to understand that we're doing the project and then that's gonna morph a bit, hopefully in the lower way, because I think we've been very conservative on that number. I can't imagine it's gonna be higher than 19 by very much at all. We're, we want to keep whittling that down to something well, the whole based point on your is, input. If we could do that yeah. channel clear and not do a, I still think we need a headworks, but let's explore those two options. I'm open for all that. So when people ask you that according to the study with the current electrical things and stuff they need, we need to buy a 200,000 kilowatt generator to operate at a cost of $300,000. Mm -hmm. But when we change and we go with different op op uh, options with, you know, air and uh, chemicals, and now we only need a $75,000, uh, 75,000 watt generator that's going to cost $80,000. You're going to say to people, now trust me, you know, give me the money for the 300000 but if we don't need it, we won't get it. Yeah, I'm going to say, give me the money, give me authorization for the 19, but working with our engineer and with you and the sewer study committee, if we can pull out a $200,000 mm -hmm. one that's going to be sufficient, that's what I'm going to ask for. I'm not going to ask for something that I don't need. And I think it's going to be based on Bruce looking at it, you looking at it. Yeah, run, Bruce. <laughs> Jeff, everybody else working together. I mean, I think, that, I think the residents are going to trust the brain trust we have. And we, we've been working hard on this. And I, th I think they will. If I'm wrong, we're wrong. And we, they say no. And we have to come up with a different plan. But I'm not going to be shy about asking. Why wouldn't you be more prepared and, and tell them why? I mean, why, why go with... Because this? you can't know it all in three I months. I understand you can't it's know it all. It's been two two years and we still don't know. All right. Well, but I think we're going to just come at it with an, with an ask and then with, with the hard, diligent work of all of us, we're going to get to hopefully a spot that we can, um, we can get this stuff done. I don't know how else you go about it. You can't... I, I can't wait another year and forego a USDA loan, right? I mean, if we do nothing, we don't appropriate an ask at all, they're going to say, hmm, Braintree's got money. They already put it up. Yep. There, there it goes. I understand. So that. I'm worried about the risk of losing any pay or any you know, way to reduce this cost. And I, I get I that think, part, but why weren't we more worried back in October when we didn't have this? You know, well, that's I've what I'm saying. I've been worried it's, it's, right along. We, but got three, we got three weeks to put. We don't even have three weeks. We have, what, two weeks to put this together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just don't. I don't see. That. I don't but, think you know, that. I, I don't think the dollar amount that you ask for now is is the end all be all. I think that's just. It's kind of like a placeholder. We look. We're not asking for thirty million because we're nowhere near old Deerfield. We're asking for nineteen because based on the best information we have, this is where we think we're going to go. But there is months of work between sewer study, Kip. Carol and me, our engineer, maybe a different engineer to go, you know, and the other guys that are, are really skilled in this to say, do we really need that? Do we really need well, this? What are I the mean, nuts and bolts? Kip, Let's that resiliency part is going, is going to go into the meeting on Friday. Yeah. That, that's going to go eight, into the July 1st submission. If everybody agrees that that's going to be what we're going to do, it's going to go into the submission right, to the that, July 1st grant. It doesn't really have anything grant. to do with the plant upgrade. It's just the grounds. You're right. No, I know, but that adds the 19, but that's a million, okay? So we've so. chucked off a million if that gets approved, all right? Or if it if it's, it's, if it goes to the October round. All the time in the you world. See, but you've got to whittle the stuff don't down. Don't you see the resemblance of... What's happening right now and what happened with the school roof? Yes, and what happened? They approved the overall whatever, yeah. and then we went out to bid, yeah. so the bid came in lower, and, with your and then we and whittled it down. Work. I went every week with you so that we could oh, whittle so it down. 
But, yes. But you saw what we had to go through. And it could have all been avoided, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Well, we're no, not, not be really, able to... not really. When you're dealing with, well, um, I don't see how we could well, you know, go through that process without an OPM or whatever. It's a lot of work. It's going to be a hustle, and it's going to be a lot of work, and that's why I everyone. That, but I, in this room, before mm -hmm. I was a selectman, I stood up and I listened to people from the school department saying, "What would you rather do? Pay, you know, four million dollars?" or pay half of $4 million. This is what the school building authority brought to us. Mm -hmm. And my argument is like, Let's why half. spend half of <laughs> $4 million, which is two, why not spend all of $1 million? And it, and it just, and I, and I get it, and I understand how this town works, and the, the people OPM. voted for it. And you know what, there is a chance that this might do the same thing. Well, I'm but, hoping that we'll do the same but thing. But I think I think we could. God, that's why we all, everyone has got to pull together and pay attention. Once you know, and every time we got to keep having these meetings. But everybody's got to come in here and be all together so that every eye we need every eye on everything, Kip. And I and I get that. But what I'm trying to say to you, and you say we need to pull together, is just go back and look what happened at the school roof, and that is should be a. But you can't. Uh -oh. I, I agree with that, but you same, cannot. Is, but you cannot take on that whole project with no OPM, and you know that the idea of saving the million bucks over there was that you would do it. We would do it ourselves. We would finance it ourselves, and we wouldn't have to pay Pink and Company and all the other sh you know schmucks that cost us all that money over there, spec and shingles that didn't work and screws that weren't right. That's a little bit different sy system. It, it is different, and it, it isn't that you could do that without that. Problem. But. If we would have picked the people instead of the state, I agree it would have with made you. a huge difference. I agree with you. And, and this this is different, and mm -hmm. I, I get that. It's a lot more technical, but the same scenario is playing out. And, and, you know, but that's I, just the municipal process. I think we Because you, you have to go and get authorization for a debt exclusion on, on a an amount before you really get the plan. And in this case, we have no choice but to keep moving ahead. We can uh, if we had time. What else would we do? We would forego the loan or grant possibility. I mean, I mean that's I, really the other option. We, so I'm just. If we don't get the grant, yes, we should have done what you're talking about right up front. But we have right now. We still have the possibility of getting a grant. So any money that lowers the cost of whatever we do, it's worth trying to plug ahead. But didn't we do the same thing three years ago with the headworks, the mass headworks? It was identical, the same thing. And don't but we don't have to draw I'm that not yet. Saying, I'm not saying that it's not important to go for these grants, because it, mm -hmm. it, it definitely is. But you, you beat right. the same drum. It's, we got to do this now, now. we got to do this now to get this grant. And, and what it does is we, we're unprepared, and the same thing happened there. You know, in that case, we didn't get it, but you know, it was probably a Ooh. blessing, because we had the same setup you know, with this yep. headworks and this big building and yep. stuff like that. But it was and oversized because there was plan for there was regionalization. There were, so the um, ops, yeah, I, I, I get it. So I think the bottom line still is the fact that we still need to ask and the dollar amount matters, but we just want to ask, but we don't want to, I want to ask for the ability, but I don't want to ask to spend it. And now those are kind of, it's hard to understand the difference of those two things. And it's for the authorization, but I don't want to go, I don't plan on spending 19 million and I w certainly wouldn't spend it tomorrow. And it wouldn't spend it just to get a grant that, you know, if we could do it for less, like if we could save the money and not go through all the rigmarole. Absolutely. And, but but, but I'm the, open to, the, the to USDA looking at this grant is for the f upgrade of the sewers plant. It's not for any specific thing at this point. I understand that. I, I, I mean, it's I for just, the general, bringing it up to go the only other way we could do this would be to slow down wait another year and try USDA next year I can tell you there is no money next year I can tell you that right up front we don't know that for sure but yes the the, there is no but money in the budget with I've the current administration, we have a little bit of a hard time getting cash for projects like but this, which might, is kind of strange. But we might in 2022 year, if we but want I, to put it off for two my more years. My fear is waiting, we're going to wind up with a failure, some catastrophic amount. Um, you know, they're pulled that together with toothpicks and duct tape, but I think 
I don't uh, think it's that bad either. It may be not be that, I'm exaggerating I some, but I, I, I'm, I'm fearful that we're going to run into a big problem if we don't get started on this. I agree, and though. I agree. It may, there are we may be we able to, to get started, but right. I think we should, we should kind of decide what avenue we're going to go down and pick a certain portion of it. And if it is a headworks project, what is the most efficient headworks project? And ask the people to fund that. Well, thing. And it's hard because you're again. Because you're going every time for money, and pretty well, soon they're going to say, eh. That's why I want to ask for the whole thing up front. That way I have their blessing. And if they don't, yeah. then we got to come at it a different way. Right. But we risk losing the grant option, you know. And but, maybe it's a pipe dream anyway. Wasn't, wasn't the, the grant was only for a certain uh, was only for what, three or four million dollars, anyways. If it's we not, could get, we, it could be. Well, anything. it's for a grant plus a loan. We plus want the loan. Plus, plus a loan. loan. Right, but, but the project that we submitted was the phase one. Was phase one? One. Yeah. Right. Which we were going to do anyway. Which we can amend a little bit. Still. Yeah. So the phase one portion of it was what? Headwork. Four million. Fifth. No. It yeah, it was, it was eleven, 11 five. five. And phase two and three is in. So. Oh well. Um, okay. I, so, anyways. Um, so but I'm so, uh, so asked, I worry not doing it. Well, you asked you asked the original question about drafting the sewer trash. Right. Tra so no, go ahead. Well, I guess the question. So I hear a lot of discussion about the sewer study mm -hmm. committee. Should can I take a stab at drafting what you, the charge sure. might be, and then yes. see if that is something you're comfortable sure. with? Sure. Yes, right? absolutely. We need their help. Okay. We need we need their help. Okay, need, their help but I think you want them to be advisory, and I hear what Kip's saying. If you jointly meeting with them that's going to be very cumbersome for you so but we have to you have to figure out what you're comfortable with them doing right mm -hmm. and what i would advisor. suggest yeah. is that you know we, we get this group back together and let them have their own meetings now it doesn't mean you can't go mm -hmm. but i don't i would i would like that you not say you can't meet because i've got Mm -hmm. a MAPCO meeting yeah. on Thursday. Yeah. Or you can't meet no, I Tuesday because I go here. Because they have work to let do. Let them set their own meetings. And if you're available, you're mm -hmm. more than welcome to go. We're of all course. Right. But don't hold, don't tie their feet down because of your schedule is what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, but the only problem is then how do we get the information as a select board? They, we they, need they to make them. They, they would come, have to they, give a report come, and that's in the come. charge. Because you got to remember, Count, it's only an advisory thing. But you gotta, you got to give them some rope. you gotta, you got to let them go. Yeah, well, I'm not again. I know, but how do we avoid what happened before? Where we get, you know, two years of meetings I and, think we're and further no down the line. Well, I think well we'll be okay. I know. I you know, I think you're right. We, we as a committee did not have a definitive plan for you. But I got to tell you, there are several people, and myself included, I learned an awful lot about it. You did. And, and you I did. learned so Absolutely. much that when I go and I, I look through this thing, I can see You're what's right prepared. and what's wrong. You know, I yep. understand this now. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I, had a, I have a lot of construction uh, background, but as far as the sewer, you know, the piping Technical and the venting and all, and all that. I, I did not understand it, and I do now. And there's a lot of parts that, you know, my field trips on my own, mm -hmm. I, I learned a lot. I learned the difference on what makes a bar screen work well and what makes it fail. Right. And the same thing with these auger monsters. And I, I learned and I saw them. And somebody just didn't tell me. I actually saw right. how they worked. I, I listened to the operator say, this is the problem that I have with this thing, and it's a continuous one. I listened to the other guy say, this thing's a dream. And I, I had a situation where I had two buddies, and they worked in neighboring towns and had different equipment. And, you know, they just sit around and have a beer and talk about it. And it's like, you know, they were talking about their Corvette versus mm -hmm. their Mustang, you know, all the good. And, and, and it was very educational for me. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why when I come back and, and I feel so much that, this is what you're going to get. This is what you get. They just keep pushing it at me. And I'm like, I know, you didn't but even that's, look at this, you know? I know, but that's why I wanted to be together so we could have those kind of just, I don't want to miss out on those conversations. Well, I think we can pull, we'll, I think with the charge, we could let them do that, report to us. And then my big key is the engineer is there when we have these discussions to answer some of these questions that they're, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that you guys will put, put list of questions oh, out yeah. and, and, well, I um, just want to make sure that there is a true transfer of information yeah, so that we can have a really good decision because I, I, 
this is so much money. You, you, we don't want to screw up on this. Exactly. And I, and I had a conversation with Josh today. And I mean, mm -hmm. we are so fortunate to have oh, two, I know. two engineers in our town yep. that are willing to volunteer our, their time. You know, and uh, Josh does these uh, RFQs all the time. Right. And he's willing to help Diana, you know, draft this thing and let her mm -hmm. do all the technical stuff that she wants to do and he can give her the technical language for this to help us out. It's and, very nice. And he, he also, you know, he gives a lot of, how can I say this? He has a lot of insight to this. I mean, he's been doing it for a long time. He's the head of the Springfield mm -hmm. in Agua. Biggest, sort of he goes to D.C. and deals with the administration, the right. federal government on these topics frequently. Right. You know, he, he, he's really on top of this. And so when he's not going to come out and bash anybody, but he's trying to help us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have to, I'll at least I feel yeah. that if we don't, you know, take this advice, that you you're know, we're just really, putting blinders on. We're yeah. shorting, mm -hmm. you know, the people in the town. No, I, you know? I, I so, agree. But I, and that's all I'm asking is don't yeah. stifle them. You know, let them go. And they're not okay. doing anything behind the back, and they can't make a decision. Right. All they can do is research I know, and I know. come back to But work. I just want to make sure we have a true transfer of information. That's my problem. And I think you problem. can do that with the charge. Yeah, absolutely. That's okay. good. Okay. making sure that they Okay. And we try yeah. to go as many times as we can. Yeah. I mean, we need the information, too. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just that when they were scheduling good. the meetings, that I was not able to go. So I, and I, I felt that. truly not informed. And, 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 I, and I didn't I understand, understand the argument think, when the group was so split. But, you know, what? this is another way to look at it. And, and I guess it, it just kind of... I mean, I everybody think, had too many opinions. There were so many opinions on what to do. Well, and it's true. And... and a lot of us, we always try to be polite with each other and be respectful. Of course. You know, and there's, there's things that, you know, you see somebody standing in the rain and wonder why they get wet. And you keep saying, well, come on inside, come on. Inside. No, no, no. You know, eventually it's, ah. Right. But one of the big things that we lost by that committee not meeting is that we're busy. She's busy. Wendy was busy. What we lost with waiting for this is we didn't have somebody on his case all the time. We needed somebody to say, hey, you know, you said you're going to have it to us by Thanksgiving. You know, now it's Christmas. You know, you have it here next week. We're not paying you. We're going somewhere else. And, and that's what we lost. And so, yeah. you know, I feel that it's as much our fault as theirs because we needed somebody to be on their case all the time. I disagree with that a little bit, but that's fine. I'm I'll let it go. I feel like we were. I, I, I know. I feel like some of it was well, they haven't been in. This I do, like you said, there's well, things that did come up during the end of the year. Yeah. Delayed, he's got it, but he has, has a point. But he has a point. point. But seriously, but I'm, this, getting an, I'm getting this, an ulcer because we're not advocating this enough. Happened, this happened to me today, and this is why I keep saying the real world. Two weeks ago, I had two people come and give me a price to do the floor, to sand my floors. And I, I said to one guy, go ahead, you do it. When are you going to be here? He says, I'm going to be there Thursday. Thursday came, no show up. Friday came, nobody showed up. I tried calling, he didn't answer the phone. I called the other guy. This guy, the floor was sanded. The other guy that I first told to showed up today. And he walks in, he goes, who, who sanded the floor? And I said, you know, so-and-so. He goes to me, he looks right at me, he says, Good night, Brenda. Well, you could have called me. And I go, what? And I said to him, I said, do you own a phone? Oh, yeah. I says, do you have a finger and a tongue? Why didn't you call me? Tell me you weren't going to show up. Too bad. That's the way it works. You know, when you tell somebody mm -hmm. something, you know, we accept their word. And for this to happen was just totally unacceptable. And I, and I take some blame, but I mean, like you, you know, all day long I'm thinking about my own work and things I got to do. And when I come home, I decompress, and then I, you know, try to prepare for our town meetings and think whatever else is going on. So it's a lot, but... It, it's put us in a tough situation. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. So, we're still yeah. on. So we should make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. You all can go to sleep now. Thank you for watching. Carolyn, second that. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.